The trial for Gabriel Savage, meant to take place this week, has been called off due to a no contest plea. Savage is the DeForest man accused of planning to kill a female acquaintance back in 2022. Our Maddie Heimsch is here with more on what would have been the 21 year old's trial. Savage faced six felony charges, but all but one were dismissed by the prosecutor last week. The remaining charge attempted first degree intentional homicide. Savage pleaded no contest to that final felony. The judge on the case accepted the plea and effectively rendered a jury trial useless. You have a trial when there's a dispute over the facts, right? That, that's, that's what leads to a trial when you can't agree. Those facts refer to the determination that Savage was in fact mentally ill when he was found parked outside that classmate's home with an assault rifle, ammunition and handcuffs in his car. Normally in these cases you have a dueling set of experts, right? One side says no, no, he was he was mentally ill and the other the other side's experts said he wasn't. But if you have a situation where both sides are like he was really mentally ill at the time he committed this crime, they, they'd be going through the trial for for nothing. Instead of opening statements that were to begin Monday, court officials scheduled a final hearing for Tuesday in which Savage will be committed to a mental health facility for inpatient care. Kind of rare to see that level of agreement between defense, prosecution, and judge in a case. The then 19-year-old was originally arrested on counts of attempted stalking and kidnapping. But when he posted bail, officials re-arrested him that same day with the six felony charges. We can just agree to that and you know resolve the case without making 12 citizens come in and sit here for two weeks. So between a no contest plea, an agreement between the defense and the prosecution, and a clear need for mental health treatment, Savage's trial ended before it ever began.